lately. I, really? I actually played against this Rob on Monday at Bombs. Ooh, that sounds super unfun. I mean, I normally like playing against Rob. I, I didn't lose to Rob. I lost to Ray. And I think that's oh, actually yeah. a little bit of what this game is going to be like. Uh, the, the, the thing that I had forgotten about Ray until I, I played him again was he is one of the best players I've seen at micro spacing. It's, it feels like he just he knows when you're going to come in and he just goes a hair away from yeah, you're, his, he's the a tip of your range. Incredibly non committal type of player. He will wait right outside of your range. That's why he played Politana for as long as he did. Well, but it's not just that he waits right outside your range, it's that he is ready to retreat yeah. right outside the exact range of the move that you're going to throw out. That is it's true. not just keeping yourself in the space. It's a matter of still keeping track of what the opponent wants to do. You saw right there yeah. that down air just completely yeah. whipped because he was just a little bit too much to the left. I definitely agree with His that. His left, my right. Oh, Our sick. right. Um, I think in order to bring up like what, because you said edge trapping is a huge thing for Samus to be able to do, and, and that's what he told you. That's kind of hard against Rob. He's big enough where his hitbox gets an edge trapped, like, enough, I guess. But he can just choose to fly above the ledge and just nair his way down and usually get down uh, for free. That's not... <laughs> the other funny thing, I don't think we've even seen that happen yet because I don't think Utopian Ray has spent more than an instant in disadvantage. That is, that is true. I was trying to think of, like, when that would happen, but you're right, actually. I think he's just playing a really good anti-Samus game right now. I don't know... What Samus has he I, played often, but like... You know, the, the funny thing is, it doesn't even feel like he's playing good into Samus game. He should be dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little bit of an unfortunate... S it was a forced error. I think he got clipped by the bomb. I think he, he air the air dodge. Oh, no, yeah, he did yeah. air dodge. He got clipped by the bomb. Again. Yeah, that, yeah. Ooh, nice up B. That's so something we hadn't seen yet. Let's talk briefly about Samus Bucks, just so that everyone's on the same page. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. She a lot of big ones for her. She's actually a much better character than she was. She has a really good kill throw now. Up throw is super. super up throw good. actually kills. Yes, it's more powerful than Piranha Plant up throw now. In terms of killing, it's more powerful than what? Piranha Plant up throw, which was also it was like the best up throw kill throw. So now it's it, it's it's the new best up throw kill throw. Don't at me on that because it could still be like. Wait, actually? Uh, I think so. Yep. It's super 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 good. That's crazy. And she has better ways to get grabs. It'll, it'll, it'll like. Zare, Zare is now super good, and it wasn't that good before. Like it was garbage like, before. All the Zares were terrible. The only I feel Zare like that was it good felt like was ZSS's. ZSS's is mad good, and it still is good. But like Samus is now. Even ZSS's is like nah, you know, no. Have you not as Mars, good as it literally could be. spams yes. Zare? Yes, it's, it covers but big. It's, it's still worse than like the Smash. 4. The point that I was just gonna make is Smash Four Zares were kind of nutty, and it feels like the day team nutty. for the most part overbalanced them. So they just buffed a bunch of yeah. his I think They buffed Young Links, they buffed Twin Links, they buffed Samus. Was Samus there another type of thing that they buffed? Uh, I don't know any other. Yoshi's. Yoshi's? <laughs> yeah, Yoshi's yeah, right. tether. Magic. Is there, you know. Comes the ledge. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it makes more sense than half the other Zairs. Freaking Lucas, what are you doing? I don't know what Lucas is doing with his. <laughs> his is that. actually pretty good, too. Um, but, yeah, okay. So there's the up throw buff. Zare buff. Up smash and dash attack Up buff. smash. It kills earlier and connects and down better. Smash. Down smash kills earlier, but it's still really, really weak. Um, dash attack kills earlier, like you said. Is that it? And does more damage. Is that all? I think, that is, I think she has a bigger shield as well. Uh, like that's just like a thing. Yeah, yeah she's a bigger shield. I think that that was the last of That's pretty much all she needs, though. Like, she's already... Like, she kills better now, which was a big problem for her. Even though she has, like, really early kill options, like back air and uh, up tilt. And neutral air. And neutral air, that's true. And obviously, charge shot setups and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. See, the thing is, when she she could set up for kills pretty easily. Yeah, she didn't have trouble setting up for them. But the thing is that when you were in neutral, yeah. when a Samus was just in neutral and her opponent's at, like, 150, she's like, what do I do? Yeah, and now she's that got was that a big kill. problem. The kill throw is really, like, huge. Like that's like a big, big, big. I thing. mean, it's huge, but at the same time, she still has a really slow tether, which means that if the up throw becomes like centralizing around her meta, there is yeah. effective counterplay but to it, which I think is interesting. Conditioning to, uh, for grabs with her is so good too, because like all of her projectiles make you want to hold shield. And, like if you shoot a missile, like you 
you jump, shoot a missile, and then run off grab. It feels like it covers everything. He is edge guarding him so well right now. He's playing really, really, really good. Down there? Yeah, okay, he DIs out intelligently. All right. He's just not allowing himself to, like, He's it feels like he's honestly respecting Utopian Ray too much when he's at the ledge. All right, uh, right as I say that, he goes off yeah, stage goes for off. the neutral air. That was a really big pickup for Loki. Nice. Let's see if he can That's all true. do more. Of Ooh, and he still keeps him in. Great DI from Utopian Ray, yeah, but he's not quite out of one, the vortex yet. From that one hit, he's still in disadvantage, and he took 67. Now he's out. Boy, still, that's so good. Sam is also one of those characters where, like, Obviously, she wants to hold on to charge shot, but when she, when it gets a fully charged, she Ooh. loses a movement option in the air. He's keeping him in the air dead. right now. He's not letting him down. It's such an awkward thing to get out of Rob uh, down throw. Like if you mash too fast, he has a uh, kill confirm. If you don't mash hard enough, oh <gasps> wow, so strong! Like I said, that Rob. Oh, he taunted. Okay, that back there killed him at the platform at like 85. It's really, really, really powerful. Oh, and he gets up smash on the platform. Yeah, that was, was a really, really good really scout fun. from Utopian Ray. Yeah. He saw him going to the platform, and he committed fully. He's just like, 